السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته. شو؟ How's life going؟ الحمد لله everything is fine. Everything is fine. And what about you? Fine, everything is all right. Studies are going well. Life is going well. And I think it's a long time since we last met. Of Where course, this COVID has made many oh. souls even, uh, <laughs> apart from their okay. lives. Okay. And how do you see this? Online, offline, online, offline, offline, online. The shift from and now we are at college. How do you see this? It's up to desperate. We we have uh, that called desperate times need desperate measures or like that. So you were thinking a lot uh, about what to do this New Year resolution, like yeah. Of. I was I was formerly in the initial periods of COVID. How what to do? What to how to replan our life? How to reschedule our uh, events? But if, and when uh, as the time goes, we were much adapted to the conditions and we were in a better track. No problem. So now, I think you are writing something. Yeah, writing, not writing seriously, but have some plans to Is write. Is related to Republic Day? Yeah, <laughs> you you just pin it. I have some plan to write about uh, the history of our nation, but I have such no such resources to read. I have there are a, a large chunk of literature uh, written on. But I have just searched Google, but uh, just you don't like that. Anything. Uh, that uh, that covers my topic. The, I have to wh get. Wh what's your specific concerns about India? We know that, that I think that you could um, possibly argue in the essay. Yeah, sure. But uh, what I have to concern or I have to cover in my essay is that the that shift from the ideas or the ideals of our nation from the period where we fought for our freedom, we gained it finally, and we built a, a, a nation which have its own great philosophies, its a, a, a strong, a strong uh, constitution. And, and finally, but when uh, the uh, time passes, we reach in, in, in this uh, 2021, and we are under a regime which, which is totally fascist, and which is oppressing us in many ways. So such a shift have to be concerned or have to be considered in a more historical manner, I think. I think, also, you, like, uh, when I hear this, I I like to believe that you are also very pessimistic about Indian history. Like, I'm not so I much like, pessimistic, because, but, because but, our, our, but it both, it's not wonder when we are being pessimistic or we are not. But the conditions of our nation is just then more... Then what about US? US has changed, the, the, the Trump has gone now, and uh, but, the Biden but, has come But they, they have its own uh, election processes, which which have their, uh, the people have their choice to select a, a, a ruler. We, we, do, in, do you, we, we Indians have, have such democracy elections, such like programs, okay. but, but uh, there are many errors or falsehoods in, in, of course, in our everything elections. everything is uh, not we, we, I, I can't understand how this repetition of uh, Modi re regime had uh, again happened in our government. No, so much problems ask, created by this government, ask, so much political, economic crisis. Do you believe in democracy crisis. in India? Do you have any hope in Indian democracy? I believe in the philosophy of democracy, but but the practice or the uh, the pragmatic steps of democracy is quite quite pessimistic. I can't believe so in that. So you are not uh, supporting this uh, farmers' protest? It's 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 something that uh, it's something that restricts the government. No, and, no, no. And uh, compels the government I think to be I, I understand the farmers' protest as a symbol of our constitution, the ideas that yeah. that that consist in our constitution. The okay. people are gathering in Delhi and many other uh, places of nation without any barriers of rights, not and any when class. When I see this, when I reflect myself, I don't see this same composition in the NRCCA protest. Because yeah. uh, they tried to portray as a very Muslim issue, and consequently that uh, led to a very uh, narrow-minded politics sure, playing sure. behind the CNRC. But even though this um, Sikh protests, sorry, the farmers sorry. protests, <laughs> it's, uh, it's even good... we uh, slip our uh, our tongues are slipping, and these farmers protests were portrayed as Khalistani terrorist movement, yeah. and then it was like a religious issue of Sikhs. But now we could see that I all think nations the, the media, the media is controlled by the government have such a great role in agenda. creating such propagandas, creating or uh, uh, producing such agendas and propagandas to our society. We know that when the NRCCA movement, that was in, that was not in a controlled manner. It was just uh, just fragmented all over the nation. But it but in the case of the farmers' protests, it's just controlled even in a sense uh, between some leaders of the 
uh, farmers' okay, protest. Like, yeah, farmers there, there were many protest. attempts to subvert this uh, protest by uh, by compromising or by convincing several farmers' organizations by giving by offering them concessions. But the farmers are strongly held to their they, they stick to their demands. They haven't uh, consented to any. Uh, concessions or any compromises. compromises. So okay. I think there, there's a huge difference between the NAA, CIA uh, protesters and so in the farmers' protest because there's a card. Even though it's it's an organized movement, it has something to be bent, bind between the people, bind, bind the people, bind yeah. them together, okay. together. Yeah. And what I see in uh, when I look at the, into the history, yeah. uh, as you know, I'm about to finish. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I know, I know, I know. And the, the people who wrote about Indian history, like the from Sir William Jones, yes. and to even Marxist uh, historians, have written a very bad account on India. Like uh, every movements were elitist. Yes. Uh, the subaltern were always subjugated to all kinds of miseries. And even when we look at this, uh, the uh, the movements of Indian National Congress or any other parties on the, at that time, they, yes. they were. Uh, not my very mild, uh, moderate. Uh, they were also cautious uh, and it. pacific. But now we don't. Even though we see su such movements, we don't believe that it could yield uh, benefits and reap the. Uh, yeah, it's all right. But but history proves that uh, any uh, uh, democratic agitations have its own role in our nation but when, it, it, well, it has its it can build, bring its own positive results but the problem now here is the government is not even considering their appeals so they are uh, they lack uh, lack uh, consciousness yeah. uh, their conscience is somewhere else with some vested interests they are giving uh, many things to these corporates but still the unique experiment of Socialist uh, and commun uh, sorry, socialist and capitalist uh, mixed economy in India is as far been a history. Uh, we we can't now capitalist. believe in such a socialist capitalist economy so of India that, because that, that it's there. totally it's totally changed in a chronic capitalism where the government is uh, controlled and ruled by of a course. corporate companies. The the very essence of this protest, farmer protests are against the such corporates those who control our nations. Will that, I think will that reap the benefits? That's my. Sure, because uh, because uh, in, be, in his work, so uh, in sure? his work, Fanon, Franz Fanon, you know yeah. that the famous African theory, uh, colonial, colonial theory. Yeah. yeah, he in his book Wretched of the Earth uh, says about the colonial, his own colonial experiments, how the people react to the regimes, how the people react to the oppressing uh, rulers. So he, he says in that if we consciously or if we have a better political education, he terms like it. it like that, if we have a political education about the, the about who oppresses us, about the exploitations we face, we we could finally gain a a, a success or a. And this is the uh, theory. Of, this is critical theory, I think. And yeah. the problem is here is uh, those people don't understand they are oppressed, and we need to educate them to educate. But but but, but but in the conditions of our nations, current conditions okay. of our nations, it's it's totally changed. That time, that was the, it was uh, African. He was uh, researching on the African nations, Fanon. In, but the, in the French Congo, I think. Yeah, Algeria, Algeria such like places. Yeah, but in, in it was underdeveloped. The people were uh, oppressed by some national bourgeoisies, those who denied them knowledge and education. The people inside the nation itself, the the black people, the African people. But in a country, in in a country like India, there's more opportunities to people to get educated. The they ha they haven't to be educated through a political speech. The, situa the situation is far sophisticated here because a large chunk of the population is not educated. And those who are educated are educated and molded in a view that's very nationalistic, yeah. very uh, narrow-minded, and very uh, kind of like they are but against I, but the minorities. I feel, but I feel to be optimistic in the uh, farmers' protest. I I symbolize it as a protest of the protest that have to be that has made the from soul, the people. The yeah, I think I, if, if the CAA and RC protesters were 
uh, designed in such a manner by uh, the consciousness of every people are uh, in uh, by, are con uh, con contained in such a uh, small place or in, in our capital is right? and every people are uh, have its own consciousness about the our nations about their aim about the uh, future of our nation how it will end up if they were just resign from what they are protesting from. that's a question that's um, worth mentioning worth asking more and do we have something that binds together as in India that we have some pr many problems yeah. uh, and we also Every, every time we spoke about unity and diversity, yeah. have we lost it's it? It's just a theory in our textbooks, no? that's have to be practical now. But, but still, we have some hopes. hopes. Uh, However, I, I like to believe Kerala? so. What about Kerala? Kerala is also being too Kerala is, has has do No. Kerala is doing then its best this, to, uh, best to re people, the resist such for big powers, big fascist powers. Though we have such communalism, such regionalism in our even, even in major our political parties also having such communal uh, but i think it's it's tons. just they uh, it's just a need to uh, to control the to uh, control the minority no it's not uh, controlling a minority issue because uh, the government is not so oppressed like uh, not so oppressing like the regime those who uh, rule from above the another central question, government another yeah. question uh, Ask. Uh, i think i thought a lot about the issue that when we speak against fascists yeah we also tend to be fascists. Is it like that? Yes, of course. When I am, if I'm speaking against any uh, anti-nationalist leader, I yeah. uh, use this anti-nationalist to say those who are against this, um, the soul of India. When we are, uh, when we speak against the fascists, we also tend to become fascists. Do you think so? Don't you see that shift in when people? Is who, there irony playing? Yeah, in there's that? an irony playing because uh, when we, it's how I will say it. Uh, when okay. we speak yeah, against this uh, anti-nationalist, like to say anti-Indian okay. uh, policies, which is against this unity and diversity, we will be speaking, uh, cherry picking every the every negatives of theirs, and we will be like uh, making like making it like a balloon and criticizing them for every every single mistakes. Sure, it's a reality. I think and existing we, we, in and our country. When we don't even compromise we don't uh, criticize them in a good manner yeah i say the we to these public intellectuals and other civil uh, leaders and activists they are using very bad words uh, hard, uh, not in a good manner yes 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 and but but what, but, what we but to, 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 to take to conclude over this okay. talk <laughs> we can take uh, the farmers protest as a as a optimism to optimism of a future to to hope a a better future because there is no such what you have been uh, saying as a, as a such some negatives of our nation of, of our nationhood but in the in the uh, protesters farmers protesters we can't see such more aggressiveness in in ideals or such like that we, we, can, we have a hope in that inshallah yeah. hope this uh, protest won't become wild violent <laughs> and spontaneous inshallah, inshallah. So we don't we, know about the future and we uh, can't predict because so it's, it's it. totally going unpredictable the the farmers are just denying every offers every concessions uh, uh, still they have some tendencies to accept some offers of course, but it's yeah. totally just uh, unbalanced unpredictable inshallah, i'm very lucky to have a <laughs> it's just a grace for me to uh, <laughs> lend your few minutes for me okay thank you assalamu alaikum